What is going on guys? Thanks for joining my channel Bob and Hood. This is Bob. Today is March 10th and in this video guys we are going to go over Investor Day for Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. I'll go over in short on what they are going to be talking about and what time and date that the conference is going to be. So let's get started. Let's hop right into it guys. So Verizon is the first one to do the conference call. It is on Wednesday, that is today at 6 p.m. So Verizon was the biggest spender in the recent completed C-band wireless spectrum auction, dropping $53 billion after clearing costs. The licenses up for auction count as mid-band spectrum, which offers an attractive trade-off between capacity and range of 5G networks. Management will likely make its expanded portfolio the centerpiece of their pitch to investors on Wednesday as a step towards its future network goals. So all this means is that Verizon has to explain to investors why they spent $53 billion on the 5G networks. Um, they are just trying to basically going to say that spending this type of money on it will make them the leaders in the 5G networks, which honestly, most likely they probably will be, but $53 billion, they have to kind of explain why they spent that much money to become number one. Um, so this will be an interesting talk uh, to the investors because this definitely puts them in a decent amount of debt. Uh, but for the most part, I think this was a good move because obviously 5G will be the future. Um, so let's move on to the next one, which is T-Mobile. So T-Mobile is the next one to come out. Uh, so this is Thursday at 2 p.m. that they will do their conference. So I'll just do this one in short. They did spend $11 billion in C-Band, which was uh, the lowest one out of the three from AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. Uh, but they did merge with uh, Sprint. So they did get some more um, C-Band, mid-C-Band uh, spectrum from them anyways. So they did not need to purchase as much but 11 billion, I thought they would be a little bit more um, on there, but most likely what they're saying in this paragraph is they'll just say why they spent the 11 billion on the C-band and why they think that that is enough to be one of the top competitors. And uh, most likely they will be talking about the actual merger um, and what kind of expenditures that they have with it because they have really not said anything after they merged on how much money they've been making what's been splitting anything like that so i'm pretty sure they will go over um, a little more details of the t-mobile sprint uh, combination so at&t is going to be last on friday at 10 a.m so in short that they will need to explain a little bit more detail of their eight billion dollar transaction to get rid of partially of DirecTV. Um, they also did raise the DirecTV um, prices a little bit by $10, which was a little strange in my eyes, even though they're saying that it is still competitive uh, with other networks. Um, they also are gonna have to explain the most important, I would say, to investors, and also important to me, I am heavily invested in AT&T, would be the dividends. So they, everyone is expecting AT&T to announce, maybe not here, but just by the end of the year, to announce a dividend increase. It may only be like a penny or two pennies, but any type of increase is always going to be good for the investors to hear. And then lastly, they're gonna to have to talk about their, uh, they had the second most uh, amount of money they spent on C-Band to see where they would place. So the amount of money they have, the amount of debt they still have, uh, they will have to kind of explain why they spent that type of money and where they would be sitting in the 5G if it would be first, second, third place on there as well. Let's check out AT&T real quick because I am very heavily invested in AT&T. They have been doing pretty well the last week and a half. Uh, you see today they are up 1.37%. For the week they are up 4.44%. For the month, they're up 5.48%. For being up this much is not real common for AT&T. They usually trade pretty much sideways. But then you look at the three month, they are actually down a dollar, down 3.23%. And we'll just go for the year. Uh, the year they're down 15%. So if you can see, they're pretty much sideways. They did hit a little bit of a peak at $32. Uh, here in December, but I would say whatever news comes out, it's not really going to be any type of surprise unless they do announce any type of dividend raise. Um, 
But I suspect that AT and T will stick around twenty nine fifty to thirty fifty uh, the next week or so. So as you guys can see here, I do have fourteen hundred shares of AT and T. I did increase my position on AT and T about a week and a half ago, and it has paid off pretty well. I was sitting at a thousand, then twelve hundred, now I'm at fourteen hundred. Average cost of twenty eight sixty eight, which I think is a pretty decent. Uh, average cost. I'm up about $1,900 um, for AT&T. I did get a very big dividend and I have been doing some option trades as well. So I've been pretty good with AT&T. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Definitely hit the like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys like what you see and hear. And let me know what you guys think about uh, each one if you think it will go up and down if you have any stock in this. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a good day.